What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trend. You tuned in again to another exclusive video. Don't change this video because I'm about to tell you why men are alone. Why men are alone. And this is going to be something that most men out there already know. All right. So if you're a man watching this video, please vouch for me by speaking up, leaving a comment below and chiming in on this conversation. OK, because I'm about to expose the truth about what us men really be thinking and what we going through and why we are alone nowadays like never before. OK, and again, this is this is a truth that most women don't know. And if women do know this out there, most of them ignore it. OK, and so. Um, I'm about to explain to you why men are alone. All right. Um, I just came from the gym. You know, that that's one of my little places that I go just to get. It's like my therapy. You know what I mean? And one of my favorite places in the gym is the sauna. And every time I go in the sauna. OK, because it's a it's like a co-ed sauna. Women can come in there, too. All right. But most of the time when I'm in that sauna. All I see is men in there. And I'm a good people's person. You know what I'm saying? I, I can read people real good. And I can I can tell you that 95% of these guys that come in this sauna and sit in there, you can tell they single. You can just tell because they, they, they look just like me. You know what I'm saying? So many guys are single. And so many guys are choosing to be alone and and like the gym is they safe haven. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess, you know, guys can go to the gym just to, you know, release stress, anxiety, whatever he going through. You know, the gym is like the place where, you know, he might bench press or work out, you know, lift weights and stuff. But it's really because it's so much bottled, so much bottled up stuff on the inside that's why men mostly go to the gym to work out, to level themselves up because they're going through so much on the inside. And this is why most women just don't get it. OK, so, you know, the number one reason why guys is not alone is because I'm going to keep it real. Most guys are heartbroken by a lot of people, especially women. All right. Men won't tell you this. OK, because we have been led to believe that we shouldn't open up about nothing, okay? The world has made, has painted this picture to say, men, be warriors. Don't cry. Don't express yourself. Don't show your feelings. Don't show your soft side. If you do, you are weak. If you do, you are soft boy. If you do, you are, you know, a gay boy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You a punk, you know? Um, and a lot of guys are alone because they are heartbroken. All right. Some of them have not healed yet. That's why they choose to be alone, but they just don't know how to deal with it because most of the time men don't have nobody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge they call big bro. You call me or something, but I don't heard it from men. I don't talk to on the phone. The same stuff. Most men don't have nobody to go to because again, they don't want to be looked at as weak. All right. And a lot of men have had their hearts broken by women who they was in love with at one point. And again, a man don't really show his heart like that. But you know when a man heartbroken because he'll never come back. Or you'll just notice he don't he don't like the girl that he was with like he used to. He'll switch it up. Okay. Um, and you know, they got this little saying going around on the internet another insult to guys is and it goes like who hurt you you know when when people say that to men and or say if a woman told it to a man who hurt you you're hurt you need healing it's kind of like an insult to a man because you're basically trying to call him weak you know what i'm saying so you know that's another little thing i've been hearing going around on the internet that a lot of men they won't never they won't say that they don't like that statement but again these are the little things the little, ter the little slang terms that people have come up with, you know, feminists and stuff like that have come up with to make men feel lesser than by insulting his emotions. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of men have been heartbroken by their own mother. I mean, believe it or not, but 
they won't tell you this. You know, a man might still say, yeah, you know, I love my mama. I'm always going to be there for my mama. You know, that's mom dukes, you know, but what he won't tell you is he really still hurt by something that his mama did to him that crushed his heart, that changed his way of thinking about her. He probably don't even think about his mama the way he used to love his mama when she was raising him. You feel me? Just because his mama probably hurt him because the mom is the only one that really matters to a man. Mom, number one. But if you have a, but if you, if, if, a, if a man is alone, there's a high chance the reason why he won't approach women or he won't get with women no more, it ain't really not that he don't want women. It, it's a lot to do with his mama too. You feel me? Like his mama could have said something, could have did something to him that really, I mean, really broke his heart, even though he couldn't express it or show it, but she probably really damaged him. Okay. So when you, when you talking down on a man about him being hurt and stuff like that, be careful of, you know, what you say to him, because the reason why he probably is alone is because somebody that he loved the most turned they back on him or, you know, his mother probably treated him dirty and did something, something foul. OK, so that's one of the main reasons why men are alone and the truth that most women don't know. Number one is heartbroken. OK, um, and again, I'm not trying to say all guys that are alone are heartbroken. I'm just saying majority of them are. OK, and the reason why they choose to be alone is because that's a man's way of uh, getting himself back together is being alone. Don't mess with nobody. I ain't talking to no girls. That's why so many guys at the gym looking, you know, with their head down in the sauna, probably meditating on all the heartbreak that they go through every day, but don't nobody ever care about them. You know what I mean? Uh, another reason why men are alone nowadays is too because uh, finances, because money, you know, um, again, we live in a society where it's capitalism. It's, it's like either you got money or you don't got the money. And to be honest, a lot of guys, majority of guys just don't have money, that much money like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys don't, a lot of guys don't make buku amounts of money. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's this saying that says that men are supposed to be the breadwinners, which is, I don't know who came up with that philosophy, but uh, yeah, men are supposed to be the breadwinners and they know they're not breadwinners like that. And so it make men be alone. It make, it made the man not want to talk to nobody. Um, he don't want to, he don't want to approach women. He don't want to go out, nothing like that because he ain't, his, his money ain't right. But again, he not going to necessarily tell you like, I ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, he ain't going to necessarily, <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't going to ask you for money. And if he do ask you for money, that's a good man. That's a lucky, you a lucky person because most guys will never, ever tell a woman that they need money because it's kind of like, it's almost like blasphemous for a man to ask a woman for money. And if you a woman that do give a man money, you a strong sister, you a strong lady. Because most women will not do that for me. All right. And, you know, money is one of the number one root causes why men is alone because he's trying to get his money up. You know, he's trying to work. He's trying to hustle. He's trying to, you know, better his himself and trying to get his career right. He going to the gym. He doing all this so he can eventually make a bigger bag. He can make more money at the end of the day because, you know, like I said, we live in a society now where. Most women out here are money driven women. And it's like, if you don't have your money right, uh, she ain't going to really be that interested in you like that because just because she money, you know what I mean? Um, you know, and women like it take a lot to be a woman, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all got so much stuff to take care of your hair, nails, body, Makeup, all that stuff costs way more than a man. You know what I'm saying? Like men outfits don't even cost not nearly as much as women clothes. You know, men's haircuts are sixty dollars. You know, but you go to a hair salon, it's three hundred, four hundred dollars, something like that. It's ridiculous how much money women gotta spend on their lifestyle to be a woman. And so this, again, but this is why a lot of men just alone because he know that dating women is very, very pricey. It's expensive all the way from the very first date. He's going to have to start paying or kicking out to even get this woman to like him. So, you know, most men, 
Most men are are alone because he just don't want to jeopardize what he don't build up. You know what I'm saying? If he got a career, if he drive trucks, um, if he do construction work, uh, you know what I'm saying? If he got some type of real estate going on or something like that, most men choose to be alone just because, like I said, they don't want to get with a they don't want to get with a woman that's just gonna take everything he ever worked for and it's gonna jeopardize his career because she feel like she don't want she don't want to be with him no more. So that's another the reason why guys are alone nowadays. They don't figure out the court system. Uh, another reason why guys are alone too, uh, and this is very important. This is a truth that women don't want to hear, and a lot of women ignore this too. But uh, a lot of a lot of men don't want to be alone because they don't want to get in trouble. You know, you ever heard that saying? Um, you know, be by yourself, stay out of trouble. That's how a lot of guys operate nowadays. They just they know that they can't, you know, their chances of being locked up for something or being like criminalized is that much more lower than being with somebody or being around a bunch of people. You know what I'm saying? So most guys are choosing to be alone, not because, again, not because necessarily they want to be, but it's because they, it's, that's safe. It's, it's not going to. It's not gonna get them locked up. It's not gonna get them end up in jail or prison or something over over somebody else's uh, mistakes and stuff like that. So a lot of guys are afraid of going to jail. A lot of guys are afraid of, you know, um, you know, getting some type of charge, uh, some type of case pending on them or something from somebody that he could have avoided if he just was alone. Okay. Um, because like I say, I don't, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you don't heard countless, countless of times. So many men out there have had huge careers and, you know, they might've played sports, been athletes. They might've been entertainers. And it's just so, it's countless stories out there of women who have tried to, who have tried to, you know, what's the word scrutinize or who have tried to, uh, manipulate men in relationships and at the end of the day, try to take everything he ever really, what he had before he even met her. And it's just like the Johnny Depp situation. You know, that, that girl that was lying on him and stuff like that. It's just, it's the same situation. You hear so many different stories of, of big time iconic men or just even your average Joe like me. You know what I mean? Just go through the same stuff. It's just like, they don't want to be with somebody who they know is going to just ruin his whole life. So men are choosing to be alone because he just want to live a peaceful life. He don't want to start no trouble with nobody. He don't want nobody to do nothing troubling to him. Okay. But again, you might, you, God's going to still huff and puff and beat on their chest, you know, like they ready for battle and stuff. But at the end of the day, men don't really want trouble. They don't want drama. They don't want to fight. They want to be peaceful and they want, you know, solitude. The next reason why most men are alone or why men are alone and the truth that women don't know and they choose to ignore is simple. A lot of men don't want to be, don't want kids. Okay. Let's say a man got a baby mama already. If he got a baby mama, it's already drama. He dealing with her drama, but he also got to deal with the fact that his kids need him too. His kids need his attention. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, these guys could have two, three kids, four kids already, you know, and he just don't want to have no more kids. You know what I'm saying? And women are carriers. Okay. Guys are donors. So, <laughs> you know, if a man get with a woman, you already know if, if he love her, especially if he love her, if he like her a lot, you already know what's going to happen eventually. You know what I mean? Not unless somebody got their stuff tied up, you know, if you know what I mean, or whatever the case may be. But um, a lot of men just don't want kids. They don't want to have to pay for kids. Kids are expensive. Kids, is, kids are very expensive. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this is the reason why most men are not staying alone is because they don't want to end up trapped by some woman who just decides she want to have the kid. And he told her he didn't want to have the kid. I know there's plenty of guys out there that have been in situations like that. Plenty. Okay? Plenty of guys done laid down with chicks. She done decided to lay down with him too. And they probably done made an agreement before it even happened that they don't want kids. That's what that's what's always said up front. I don't want no babies. I don't want no kids. Me neither. I don't want no, I don't want no boy. I ain't nothing about you about to have no kids. Like most men... 
don't want to have kids. But what what will happen is most some women, not all, some women will literally if if she liked that dude a lot, she will literally change her mind at the last minute and have a kid and manipulate him just so she can get just so she, for money reasons, uh, for attention, just any petty reason that she can think of because she felt like she didn't get her way. She's going to try to use the kid as a pawn and try to trick everybody into believing he got her knocked up when really they probably can't. They probably had an agreement at the very front of the whole situation ship that they both said to each other. We don't want kids. OK, so a lot of guys is figuring this stuff out. A lot of guys is figuring out the game. You know what I mean? They once was kind of once upon a time guys was kind of slow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To be honest. But now guys is like catching on to the little tricks in the trade of like living. You know what I'm saying? So most tripping. So most men don't want kids. It's just that simple. Most men, most men want to just live their life, be at peace, level up. They don't want to have children, especially if they're not even in a financial position to have them. Okay. Another reason why men are alone nowadays is is too is because social media. Okay, like social media, um, social media makes men insecure of women. Like if you're a woman and you got social media pages and stuff like that, and you be taking pictures, photo shoots and stuff like that. Let's say you on Facebook and you always on Facebook, or let's say you on uh, Instagram and you always taking photos of your modeling, whatever you do, whatever. Most men won't tell you this, but a lot of guys is really jealous and insecure about they woman being on social on a social platform. Most men want their women to be private, to be honest with you. Most women don't want their goodies all out there milkshaking and bring all the boys to the yard. Most men don't want that. You know, they might see the girl with the BBLs and they might see the girls with, the, you know, posting all the pictures and looking all sexy on social media. They see that, they'll like that and they'll, they'll comment, they'll attract it, but they won't tell you deep down inside. It'll be hard for him to trust her because he's insecure over her being blasting herself out there on the web for every guy to see. So a lot of guys won't tell you that they jealous and they insecure. Um, they'll just be alone. You know, they'll just hump and dump you, but they're not going to never tell you the reason why they want to remain alone is because they insecure about, uh, how often a woman is that he like is showing herself. You know what I'm saying? Like a man won't tell you, he don't really like you taking selfies. You know what I mean? He don't, you know, it, men let so much stuff just go or go, just go by, just go by, just go by without saying nothing. But, you know, like I said, deep down on the inside, that's what, that's what make him not be alone because he sees so much stuff. He sees so much stuff that he don't say nothing about. And it really got him feeling insecure and feeling some kind of way because, you know, you, you know, if you're a woman, watching this video is probably because you take too many selfies or if you're a woman probably because you got too many guy friends but he not gonna tell you that he don't want you hanging around a bunch of guys you know what i'm saying he just gonna sit back and just act like he don't really want to be with you but he want to be with you at the same time but that's the reason why he still ain't got with you with you because he don't want he don't like the fact that women have more friend men than women he just don't like that okay so but a man never gonna tell you that all right. Um, last but not least. Now, this is one that's really overlooked. OK, this is a big reason why men are alone. Even I I fell in this category for a long time and I still have my I still be tripping up over thinking these thoughts sometimes even today. So I know um, most men out there probably feel what I'm, where I'm coming from with this one. Um, most men are alone to really all at the end of the day, really, because they just feel not attractive. You know, a, guy, a lot of guys don't feel like they're attractive enough to have a partner. You know, a lot of guys don't feel like they're attractive enough to, to approach the woman who, you know, look like she makes six figures, look like, you know, she got it going on. You know, it's, and this is why this is why a lot of guys don't approach high maintenance, high class, you know, boss status looking women, because like I said, he probably don't feel like he, he look good that much. So. He's feeling some kind of way about how he looked. And if he make his approach or if he decide he want to be in a relationship, he don't even know if he's going to be able to keep her because it might be some other competition out there, some other guys out there that look more better than him, you know, 
got clearer skin than him or got a better, better body than him. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of guys choose to be alone because they they lack confidence in their uh, outer appearance. You know what I mean? But they will never tell you this. And again, man, we live in like a we live we live in like a a society where women are more praised than men are. And women are also way more hit on than guys get hit on by women. And women also get way more compliments and more admiration than a man could ever dream of. All right. Most men never, ever get nobody to compliment them probably all through the whole week. It's not even a month. OK, for a guy to get a compliment, that's like for a guy to get a compliment, that's like a, a damn gift card to, to damn uh, Chipotle or something. It's like, wow, I, $25 gift card. It ain't much, but I'm going to go get it. Thank you so much. Like. Guys don't really get gifts like that. Guys don't get gifts like that. Guys don't really get appreciated most of the time by the opposite sex. Because like I said, we live in a society where most it's all about admiring women. And most women come to the situationship, relationship, whatever. Most women come to the to that situation and it's always like all eyes on her. All eyes on me, 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 me. Is he calling me? Is he going to text me today? Is he going to text me good morning? Is he going to text me good night? Is he going to take me out? Is he going to buy me a drink? Is he going to pay my bills? Like it's all women exhaust or exaltation. You know what I mean? And like men hardly ever get anybody to compliment him on his looks, you know, his physique, you know, uh, if he is in the gym, oh man, you you working out, bro? You getting big? You getting strong? Men don't never hear that from nobody. No, men don't even hear that from men. You know, what I mean? men don't hear nobody saying, "Boy, them abs is popping. Your abs is starting to show now, homie." Men ain't never gonna get that from nobody. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, this is the last reason why men are alone is simply because a lot of guys don't feel attractive. And they don't feel like they have the confidence to even approach the type of woman that they really probably dreaming of. Probably, <laughs> you know, be would be flabbergasted to talk to. And this is why he probably will choose to be alone because he just don't have a confidence in his look. Because men don't ever probably ever, men don't really get compliments like that. We got to just act like we are confident and it don't really come like that. We be faking it. All right. But anyway, um, man, these are the reasons why men are alone, man. I hope I answered all your questions. I hope this video was enjoyable. Um, if it was it, relatable to you, make sure that you comment below. Don't don't leave this video without comment below, and make sure you subscribe. Most of all, if you like my type of uh rhetoric or if you like my type of video topic today. Um, other than that, man, if you want to talk to me about this topic, you can book a session with me by clicking that link below where it says "Book a Session with Big Bro Trend." I'll talk to you about um, this topic if you are a man. You just want to chop it up with a friend. I'm your big bro, Trent. If you're a woman and you want to chop it up with this situation, I mean, you want to chop it up about men or whatever you think, book a session with me. I can enlighten you and I can give you some more advice just like this video. With that being said, this is why men are alone. The hard truth that women don't want to hear and that they ignore all the time. Peace.